光复香港，时代革命。老婆可以可以接回来了。咦。So, dudes, welcome to another corporate how-to. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to completely alienate players from a country numbering in almost seven and a half million people. Blitz John is a one-armor, one-speed operator from Hong Kong. He's not a part of Legion or Ying's unit, though. He's a Hearthstone player. His gadget consists of Heart of the Cards. I have to believe that it holds some secret strategy. This card is useless. Which is a hard counter to Blizzard's Pot of Greed that allows them to draw three additional sponsorships from Chinese companies at any given time. That's not what it does. Roll my dice. That is what it does. Pot of Greed. Draw three. I summon Pot of Greed. It does. I that's what. Majority. That's what it do. You <laughs> It does what it do. Blitzjohn has one heck of a resume. He's an Asian Pacific Grandmaster in Hearthstone, and here in his Twitter bio, it says Team Hong Kong. So I'm assuming he currently plays, or can say with 100% confidence, at one point he played for a team called Team Hong Kong, which is apparently confusing to some Blizzard executives because Blitzjohn expressed his support for the Hong Kong protests during a live stream of his match from Taipei. What's Taipei? Well, more like where's Taipei? Taipei is located on the small island country of Taiwan, i.e. China. Or not. China. Or the real. China. Depending on which person from China you talk to. Blizzard, in their infinite wisdom, decides to host this tournament in the Republic of China, which clearly doesn't get along with the People's Republic of China. It's the People's Republic, not just the Republic. That's different. Different country. But what happened to naughty naughty boy Blitzchun? Well, he got put in a timeout. For a year. I'm gonna suspend you forever! <laughs> Not just from this tournament, but all Hearthstone competitive play, sponsored by Blizzard. One million years, Dungeon! And his earnings were withdrawn. He was also stripped of his title of Hearthstone Grandmaster. What did he do wrong? What kind of egregious mistake did he make? Well, he violated the 2019 Hearthstone Grandmaster's official competition rules, section who gives a fuck. Blitzchung was found guilty of, quote, engaging in an act that in Blizzard's sole discretion brings you, or him, into public disrepute, offends a portion or group of the public, or otherwise damages Blizzard's business ties. Yeah, baby. He's loud to money. Anyway, Blizzard couldn't have him going around alienating the Chinese market, so that's all she wrote. Oh, they also cut off contact with the casters, who in this situation apparently should have said, Wow, can you believe this utterly disrespectful sentiment directed towards the People's Republic of China? <laughs> I sure can't criticize the old world and build the new world, am I right? It should be clarified that the casters were complacent to a certain extent. They did encourage Blitzchun to go up, say what he wanted to say in Mandarin, and then hide under the desk, promptly following it up with an ad. But then again, you are in Taiwan. It would seem a little bit more forgivable then, wouldn't it? Blizzard has decided to take cues from the NBA and not irritate our Chinese overlords. Pretty funny interpretation of their own rules when you consider the Hong Konger audience that plays their game. Blizzard may lose a PR battle, but who cares? They're making a shit zillion dollars off of their censored version of World of Warcraft in China, so we gotta keep these boys in line. And beatings will continue until morale improves. Now, making a version of your game, specifically for a different audience, is one thing. But, to take the independent actions of a player competing in your league, and basically telling them, Hey, shut the fuck up. You're making us look bad. That's Blizzard making this political. And it defeats the idea that Blizzard's supposed to stay neutral as a company sponsoring an esports league. I understand the argument that this was done during an official Hearthstone livestream. And this is generally a bad look for Blizzard's business partners. A sanction would have been one thing, but to cut his prize money, to cut association with the casters at the event in Taiwan as well, that is over the line. Blizzard has made a public execution of these individuals to make sure the Chinese businesses they're associated with don't pull out. They took a side. Because if they were truly neutral, they wouldn't have said anything. They ain't got no integrity. Don't you wish someone in the games industry had some fucking integrity? Can that argument about keeping politics out of video games, you can't 
in this particular instance. Plus, the casting for this match was based in Taipei, which, I don't know if most people know this, not exactly a country that gets along with China. You know, the China China. It looks like Blizzard here has done what the NBA has done except for esports. Instead of going into this market with a semblance of logic and fairness, they have said, politics, stay out of our video games. Assuming those politics don't offend certain people that we get along with. Sure, you can play for a team from Hong Kong. You can have your match casted in a country that is at direct odds with the host country of some companies that sponsor us. But you can't state your piece. Sit down, shut up, and play the game. This precedent is vile, and it sets a horrid tone for esports in general. It's spineless, cowardly, and antithetical to the democratic nature of online gaming. The international nature of online gaming. This issue came up in Siege a while ago, and I remember when all of us were up in arms about censoring this game for Chinese audiences without putting them on separate clients. Ubisoft retracted their decision. But for some reason, I doubt Blizzard will do the same. They would rather cut off their audience from Hong Kong completely. And that's all you need to know about Blizzard. And if you're mad that I'm talking about politics on my Siege channel, just remember, Siege is an inherently political game, and the fact that this game features characters from Hong Kong is, in and of itself, a political statement. And if you disagree, well, you're just wrong. If you think this video raised your IQ, be sure to share it with your friends in order to raise theirs, unless they're from China, because they can't watch it. I canceled my WoW subscription. China is asshole! Deuces. <laughs>